You lost at the Open. A lot of people wondered whether you'd be having this night. What were your thoughts then, and how, what did, how did you feed off of that? Uh, well, first off, I want to thank God um, for giving me this moment and this opportunity. Uh, letting, me, letting me overcome challenges, you know, like this past Open where he tested me and I failed him. So, uh, you know, it's all part of the game. I let my competitive, competitive nature get the best of me. And, uh, Nothing against the kid, nothing against the referee association, nothing against USA Wrestling. That was all my fault. I took that burden over my head and did it any day. And uh, I'm going to keep on stepping forward and moving forward. You know, I'm a veteran in this game. I've been here for a very long time. And, uh, you know, that's never, it's never once ever happened. I'm usually the quiet one in the room, the quiet one out of the whole entire team. So, you know, God tested me that day. And I failed him, but he gave me a chance to come back and fight back. And, I redeem myself. Do you think the Greco program as a whole needs that fire, what you just decided? Because everybody wants to know when is Greco going to get back there again? Is that what you need to feed off of? I think what the Greco Roman program needs is medals. Uh, that fight like we did back in the day, where, you know, uh, not that competitive, not that, uh, not that, not, not the way I lost control, but using, using that against your opponents, you know? Uh, keeping that all con uh, contained and using that against your opponent. So I feel like that's what we need. Um, we need more fight. We need to earn medals. And we need to bring the popularity popularity of Greco. We need to bring that back to America. And uh, continue, continue the good fight. The press conference yesterday, half of you guys were WCAP athletes. You guys seem to take a lot of programming in, in your training situation. Obviously being in the United States Army, but it's a huge point of pride for you guys. Do you think you see it jumping levels for you guys this year at the World Championships and the result of multiple medals? Uh, absolutely. Uh, every time I make the team, every time I see anybody else make the team, I'm always optimistic. I always know that the guys that, that make these teams are always putting 100%, 110% of their of their time and effort into this sport, into the sport of Greco Roman wrestling in the mat. So I believe 100% on my team and. I'm gonna support them, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be you know because I've been here for a very long time, the leader of the team. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be pushing all these guys in the room. So to get to win those medals, thank you. How do you feel about your performance out there today? Uh, I think I performed pretty well. Um, I just I didn't want to make mistakes. Uh, uh, pretty much, I wanted to get in there, uh, get into my underhooks, get into my positions, um, score with the underhooks, uh, not underhooks, uh, dra uh, arm drags, and get into the part tear and capitalize my part tear, which has been the definition of my whole entire prep room and career. So uh, that was pretty much the plan. How different are you I compared to back in 2016 when you were just a kid doing this? <laughs> uh, I think. I matured a lot, and uh, you know you gotta be, you gotta like, even like talking to like the younger generation nowadays, you gotta be a student of the sport. You gotta like, like develop habits in Greco Roman, which I believe like we develop bad habits because we transition from folk style to Greco. So I feel like we need to study the sport a lot more, uh, be mature, be leaders. Everybody needs to be leaders, and just push everybody, push everybody in the room, and make make sure everybody's getting better to grow the sport here. Thank you.